Hello and welcome back to 27 Fox Place. If you're new to my channel, my name is Randy. And this week I got a little bit behind on the dusting. So I try to get as much done during the week as I can, but there's usually something that I really don't get a chance to do. Keeping the kitchen and the bathrooms clean are things that I always try to keep up with, but dusting is one of the things that's just a bit lower on the priorities for me. I'm also going to be changing the furniture around today, so be sure and leave me a comment to let me know what you think about the changes. I don't dust the lampshades every week, but since it's been a while since the last time it was done, I wanted to try and squeeze it in today. I like to use a leaf blower to force the dust out of the fabric and set up a vacuum. A paintbrush is another good option to dust delicate surfaces like the lampshades, and the brush is easy to clean with a little soap and water. I get a lot of questions about this duster and my husband bought it from an infomercial he saw. It's an electrostatic duster. This one is ancient and unfortunately I don't know where to find another one like it. I love that it covers such a large surface area and it makes the job go so much faster. I've been getting a few questions about these jars and they are filled with dried flower petals. Whenever my husband gives me flowers, I save the petals and I've been saving them since we first met. If you're interested in the jars, Walmart usually carries them in the store for about $10, but they're kind of hard to find. The jars come in different sizes. These are the two gallon size and I have half gallon in the kitchen. I try to leave as much information as I can in the description box below, but if you can't find a link that you're looking for, be sure and let me know in the comments. I always forget to dust the recessed lighting upstairs in the hallway until I get to this one. And if I didn't run back upstairs to take care of it, it would never get done.
I keep a few extra packets of lens wipes in this tray to clean my eyeglasses, but because the towelettes contain alcohol, it makes them great to wipe down the remotes as well, and since I have them handy, I tend to clean the remotes more often. This wine rack is something I plan on finding a new home for and I've been keeping it here to help motivate me to have a garage sale and I'm hoping I can sell it at the next one but if not I'll likely drop it off at a donation center. I love to have a little bit of greenery in the house, but I really don't have a lot of patience for things like dusting the individual leaves on all these plants. Using a leaf blower is a great way to get the dust off, and then every few months I'll use the hose to rinse off the leaves. I vacuum the seat and the side of this bank head about once a week, but I don't vacuum the back of the bench quite as often, and I haven't had the time to deep clean this entire room the way I'd like to, so I've just been trying to do a few extra things every week. I bought these bar stools at Target about 10 years ago now and they were super affordable and they have the perfect look for this space. They do still have something similar so check the description box below if that's something you're interested in.
It doesn't matter how many times I remind Miss Callie to stay out of the kitchen. She always thinks she can change my mind. I needed to empty the vacuum and get the attachment so that I could vacuum the furniture and of course the attachment that I needed wasn't in the basket. I have the Dyson Animal V11 and it came with tons of attachments that I probably couldn't live without. If you have a cordless Dyson that didn't come with the attachments, be sure and check the link below. I'm not going to vacuum under the couch cushions today. I usually do that when I rotate the cushions so that they wear more evenly. I have a bigger problem with the dog hair on the sides of the furniture, so I have to do that more often. But because the dogs are always on the sofa, we keep the seat cushions covered with this throw blanket, but I also think it helps to keep things from falling in between the cushions. have an extension that would make it much easier to vacuum the stairs and for some reason I haven't thought about it until now. <laughs>
I've been wanting to add a chair underneath this window forever, but I thought it might make the space a bit too crowded. So I decided to move one of the chairs from the living room up here so I could get a better idea of how it would look. And by moving one of the chairs upstairs, I'll be able to improve the traffic pattern leading from the front door. This chair isn't very heavy, but it's awkward to move because it's so bulky, and I could have asked my husband to help, but he was busy outside and I was just too anxious to wait. <laughs> This chair was just a little bit too big to fit through the door and it took me a few tries before I figured out how to get it through the opening. But once I got the chair in place, I was pretty happy with it and I think the color is a little bit too dark for this room and I need to move the flower jars, but I think it will get more use in the bedroom. I wanted to move the bigger chair into the corner next to the fireplace because the TV is slightly off center so there's a little bit more room next to the fireplace and having the smaller chair next to the door will leave more space at the entrance. And now I have an extra side table that I don't know what to do with. I've also had a few questions about this wet vac that I use to mop the floors, or what I like to call R2-D2, and I love the idea of having a cordless floor cleaner, but the performance could be better. I really like that it suctions the dirty water off the floor, and the collection tank is small so I can't clean the entire floor without having to empty the tank, which doesn't really bother me. But the battery life is too short on the higher cleaning setting, and it doesn't clean well in the battery saving mode. But it works good enough for now.
That's all for today's video and thank you so much for joining me today. If you haven't done so already, be sure and subscribe so that you can receive notifications whenever I post a new video. There's absolutely no obligation for subscribers and it's easy to do. Just click the subscribe button below and then hit the bell icon to turn on notifications. If you enjoyed this video, be sure and give it a thumbs up. But I'll say goodbye for now and I hope to see you in the next video.